Hello and welcome back to our epic budget performance car road trip. Destination, the legendary Nürburgring. Thus far, we've upgraded our cheap £1,500 cars, crossed over into France, and then visited the Michael Schumacher Museum an hour north of our destination. And speaking of our destination, Taylor's heavy right foot meant that his beloved green mini wasn't destined to make it that far, with the engine calling it quits at 140 miles an hour just 40 minutes from the green hell. This obviously meant game over for Taylor's Nürburgring adventure, or so we thought. Because with Taylor now in the hotel having a little cry, Rory and I immediately went on the hunt for a replacement engine. And after much searching, I finally got us a hit. So, update. I spoke to a man called Nick McLernan because someone on Instagram messaged me and said, try Nick, he has a trailer and we can hopefully get this car trailer. And then I spoke to Diana who works at Apex and she said, we've got a trailer, don't worry, we'll get it sorted for like 100 euros. Anyway, this man Nick has uh, messaged me and he said, shout if you need an engine. I've got an R53 JCW engine and box tucked away. So this actually means Taylor's actually getting an engine upgrade. Well, we're all done. We haven't got to that yet. Oh. So I said, all right, I want to buy it. And then he's now replied with his address and then said yes. So we're now going to get a JCW engine in his Mini. So the John Cooper Works badges on his Mini are actually going to be genuine now. Because he's such a lucky git, isn't he? So. Taylor is currently upstairs having a little cry. Yeah. He's, he's literally been up there for like an hour and 20 minutes. He doesn't know what's going on. I think he's desperately trying to find a car or an engine. Shall we head upstairs, yeah. speak to Taylor and tell him we've bought an engine and hopefully he's happy with it. If he's not, then Taylor, you are. You and I are so done. <laughs> so done. With Taylor reconsidering his life choices and us unsure if we're ever gonna get that replacement engine, what you can be sure about is this week's sponsor, Quadlock. Quadlock makes the strongest, most secure and easiest to use mounts on the market. And Quadlock's new mag heads feature fast charging and super fast mounting. They're also available in a variety of colors and yep, Mine's obviously red. On top of the mounts and cases, Quadlock also offers loads of accessories, including vibration dampness for motorbikes, wireless charging heads, USB chargers, battery packs, and more. Inside the car, you've got the option of a suction mount, dash mount, or vent mount, all of which are strong and sturdy. And I mean really strong. So get your very own Quadlock phone mounts, cases, and accessories using the link below. Not that, that's a dog. Hello, where's Taylor? Taylor, we just need to film the outro. Could you put You're your mic right. on, please? So what's been going on since you've been up here? I fell asleep for a bit. Yeah? Because I've got a headache. So we have an update? Yeah. I bought you an engine. And it's what? here. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, and the best bit... Your badges will be genuine badges. You're joking. <gasps> Are you actually oh, serious? Yeah, you got, you got a JCW engine. <laughs> I'll doubt your hand. <laughs> really? Yeah. How have you pulled that one off? <laughs> I'm very famous, Taylor. <laughs> People want to sell me their shit. So wh what's the story? The story is it's from a crashed Mini. Engine and gearbox are for sale. We only need the engine, Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing. So we are now, all of us, going to jump in Big Pete, go to this man's house and put the engine in Big Pete. And then we're going to find somewhere to put the engine in to the Mini. I've also had lots of messages from people saying you can use my garage. That is amazing. So let's load up in Big Pete and get you your JCW engine. This is very exciting. Yeah? I actually can't believe this. All right. Can I have a hug? All right, you can have a hug. <laughs> Thanks, mate. That's all right. Thanks, mate. That's all right. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> I, sh I need a shit before we go. So we wasted no time and took to the road in Big Pete to meet up with Nick, who it turns out owns a local Airbnb just six minutes away from where we were staying. After arriving and admiring Nick's collection of tats, we focused on the task at hand, that engine. Oh, oh, there we go. And it's just ready for us. Yeah. It's good we shipped this out earlier this year, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's an engine. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna have to use hammers if it doesn't fit. Big hammers. And the car was crashed. The car was crashed. The car was a 2004 R50 convertible with all the upgrades and all the bits and pieces on it. Don't know if you remember somebody called Linda Bellingham. She used to be like the Bisto advert woman. Yes. Oh God, I know her. So, You've um, got a famous person's engine. <laughs> yeah, amazing. She got, ah, <gasps> oh, yeah. Bisto. Really? 
saying it. Yeah. It's yeah. Actually, scrap Nick's fake news because Google has since revealed that Linda Bellingham was not in fact the R. Bisto lady from the adverts. She was actually the mum in the OXO ads. So if you were about to comment with, um, I think you'll actually find you're mistaken, I've saved you a job. You're welcome. So when was this last run, this engine? Um, I bought this about two, two and a bit years ago, and it was crashed just before that. So it's okay. not, the car looked like, I'll send his photos in a bit, but mm. the car looked like it had been over, but the windows were still intact, but it was very much into a ditch. Okay. It, it is what it is, yeah. Bit of a risk, but yeah, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? So it was time to load it up. And after a failed attempt to manhandle it in, <laughs> we found a useful plank to assist us. Which we obviously had to take with us. So Rory's driving. What Aiden's that? currently propping up the plank of wood that we got the engine in the car. And Alex is holding the engine so that it doesn't slide back and smash the rear window. And the man from whom we bought it in that began is just leaving. <laughs> <laughs> and the funniest thing, I haven't, I haven't even paid him yet. <laughs> if the police arrive, just drop everything. <laughs> it's alright, German police are really relaxed with Bruce. After an eventful journey, we decided to take a break from the stress and headed for some food while I tried to find a local garage for us to move into for 24 hours. And that's when my good friend Leon stopped in with an offer we couldn't refuse. So we hooked the broken mini up to the back of Pete and gingerly drove 25 minutes to Leon's workshop, where we'd reconvene in the morning for a day of absolute carnage. So uh, yeah, the plan is tomorrow. Leon is going to go do his day job, and then we are literally just going to be in your unit, borrowing all of your tools, borrowing your lift. And, and trying not to smash it all up and make a mess. <laughs> yeah, hopefully this thing will still be standing by the time you come back from work. <laughs> but no, this will do. I'll doubt your hand, thank you. Yeah, well, we'll have it. Cool, right, let's head home for the night. It's actually past your bedtime by many hours, Aidan. Your parents are going to be fuming. So to your parents, I'm very sorry. I'm not, he's a piece of shit. <laughs> the morning after the night before and we are in Leon's garage as you can see the mini is now on the ramp the JCW engine is here waiting to be installed solely by Taylor no we're going to be giving you a hand the plan is in the next few hours broken engine out new engine in and then this afternoon at about 5 p.m you're gonna have to be driving this on the Nürburgring brilliant so yeah wheels off bumper off let the insanity begin Go, Rory. Go on, girl. Aiden, we just need shots of us looking like we're doing stuff. Yeah, you know. And then we'll leave. Okay, go. And that's that's plenty. That's that's I'm done. I'm out. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! shit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> I've had a crash. <sighs> that worked out quite well, actually. Oh, I'll give you that, that was funny. That was. <laughs> That was funny. I do apologise about the camera work. We've hired a... Um, child. A child. He, he was cheap. He's not very good, but... At least he's not charging. Yeah, and breaking our equipment. Oh, wait, no, he did break our equipment. Um... Aiden, you're fired. Sorry. There are no redeeming features to you. <laughs> you're not even funny. <laughs> Well done, Rory. <laughs> you nearly no, took I the whole engine out there. You nearly pulled the whole I car off. I nearly killed a man. <laughs> so the reason this has happened is Taylor was doing 140. Top speed of a Mini Cooper S is 133. And then even with a John Cooper Works engine, you're only meant to be able to do 136. So 
you were going way above the limits of this engine. No. And yourself. Yeah. No. And then he span into a wall, took out two old ladies on the way to church. Shut up. It wouldn't be old ladies he takes out, would it? No, oh, yeah, it'd be <laughs> <laughs> No, you can't put Keep that, that in. <laughs> <television>. <laughs> The front fell off. It did actually fall. Sorry, Leon. We'll clean it. We'll clean it all up. Taylor will clean it all oh, up. I've got a wet leg. Alex? Here you go. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Aiden, do you want to see something funny? No. I share a room with Rory. This is not going in. <laughs> it's going in. This is not going in. You hear that? <laughs> <laughs> what you can't see is Alex is actually... Me masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> Good yeah, um, Rory luckily doesn't snore, but he whimpers, which is... I'm so submissive even <laughs> in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're coming in hot. Right, let's try and lift this big unit out of the way. Okay, <laughs> very funny. Oh, Wait, fucking uh, hell! <laughs> I'm, going in, I'm, I'm, I'm pumping as fast uh, as I can. Pump it! Oh my pump god! It. I'm pumping! Oh, hold on, I've got a better idea. Yeah. Let's pump it! I'm no. pumping! Oh, my bollocks! I'm pumping! Let's pump it! Ow, my leg! <laughs> I'm trying to get my. Ah! 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 Keep I'm pumping! Ah! Oh, it yeah. has your heart! <laughs> Ow, I'm stuck. You're going to rip my shorts. <laughs> Keep Boy, let me down. Let me down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Twist it slightly, turn it like that. That's it, right back. Wow. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm not gonna get over them, up. Mate. That's all right, just lower it down there for a minute. That's fine. Yeah? There. How about play? I've got to drive this tonight <laughs> on the Nürburgring and then across three countries tomorrow. And it currently looks like that. <laughs> hey guys, what am I? <coughs> Are you you in five years on your deathbed? No, that's Taylor's dead engine. No, you're oh. a moron. Oh. oh. Yeah, we'll go with moron as well. Oh. What are you doing again though? I can't that hurt my throat to do that. <laughs> right, so I've just asked Nick, um, engine Nick, for pictures of the car. <laughs> look at that. Ooh. It's had a look. quite the oh. impact. The front end doesn't look too bad. It just looks like it's had a massive side on shunt. Did the Bisto lady crash it? I don't know. Oh, we've got a reg. Oh, let me check it. I yeah. You could car vertical. Let's it. actually do a car vertical check. What do we think the mileage is? I'm going to say 77,000 miles. Uh, 56,000 miles. You're going low. I'm going 90. So if this is anywhere below 100, I think you're going to be very happy. Yeah. Loading report. It's doing all the checks. Moment of truth here, Taylor. All right. It's almost done checking everything. All right. Here okay, we go. Right. Oh. View your report. Okay. So theft, mileage, finance and damage all get green ticks. All right. So, so obviously it, never went through insurance. It didn't go through insurance. <gasps> Odometer. Last known... Milliage. Go on. Two hundred. No, forty-one thousand <gasps> eight hundred and twenty-nine. So I've got a forty thousand mile John Cooper Works engine. If this works, because we still don't know if it works yet, there could there, there could be an issue with. But if it works, you've done very very well. And we haven't actually spoken about the price. These on eBay, low mileage, two thousand pounds. Yes. And Nick, the previous owner, I messaged him, I said, how much do you want? He said 650 euros. But in all fairness, Nick apparently phoned up his mate who just said, what, what, what do you think it's worth? And, and his mate may have told him the wrong figure. Yes. Yeah. So Nick's mate, you've done me a solid. But I, th I think just as a, as a, as a good gesture, I, I believe Taylor, you're giving him your old engine, aren't you? Yes, yeah. I am, yeah. yeah that's and, true. and he's having the gearbox back. Yeah. 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 So, so you're happy? Yeah. Yeah. Very. There is one other thing that I noticed. Yeah. Which is quite funny. <clears throat> so, if you come round here, this side, you know how we joked about Tavarish? Yeah. 
I pulled this drive shaft out, which is connected to the gearbox. Oh, wow. What? Is that water? The gearbox is full of water. He did tell us that apparently it crashed into a ditch. Yeah. Ah. But the engine doesn't seem to be full of water. Just the gearbox. Lucky. So we definitely want your gearbox. Yeah, I'd say so. And yeah. Nick probably doesn't want this gearbox anymore. No, Nick wants this gearbox. Nick's having the gearbox. <laughs> Oh, hello, Miss June. Oh, July. Oh, August. Hello, September. Oh, October, you look filthy. November, not liking your face. And December, we have a jackpot. <laughs> Just putting out the rubbish. <laughs> Oh, December, I love you. <laughs> it's 12.36. Progress report, we've taken off the pulley off the new supercharger and we're just trying to figure out how to get the adapter off the old one to put it on. The new one, we are gonna go and pick up parts. Yep. So, yeah, it's it's all panic stations at the moment, but that is part so of the So we've got four and a half hours left. Right, so yeah, no more time to waste. Let's go. So as Rory and I headed out to Germany's answer to Euro car parts, we left Taylor and Luke to crack on, swapping the bits needed from the old engine onto the new one, which obviously ended up taking a lot longer than hoped. So long in fact that Rory and I had enough time to get the parts, order lunch, and then still be back in time for the big engine refit. It's pretty much ready to go back in. All the ancillaries are back on. I've replaced the entire wiring loom because there was a few broken plugs from the crash car on the new wiring loom. I've used my alternator, the new supercharger, but with my old smaller supercharger pulley on it. My gearbox because the new one was full of water from the crash. Yeah, I've swapped loads of stuff over. So it's pretty much ready to go back in now. So I'm gonna hoist it up, stick it in the car, and fingers crossed we can go back together in time. Right, crane down, disconnect, and tro trolley out. Is that the right. engine in? Yeah. So. Not to put any pressure on, but the track opens in two hours. I know. And we're half an hour away from the track, aren't we? Yeah, you have an hour and a half, Taylor. Oh, nothing could go wrong now. Shut this up. is the home stretch. This is the home stretch. Shut up, you f***ing tip. But it is all plain sailing from now. It's literally plug here, plug there, a couple of wires, start up, lovely, lovely. The only saving grace, and because I think, I think we might be at that point, is the track is open for two and a half hours if there's no crashes. But that does give Taylor up until I would say about 6.30. I mean, my, my car's <coughs> all good. Are you two gonna help? What do you, what <coughs> do you what, need? What do you need for us? Just start bolting shit back together. The drive shafts need to go back on, the hubs need he to be connected. He, he doesn't. Right. Come on then. Let's do some driving and shafting. I don't actually know what I'm doing with any of this. Um, so I think I'll probably just stand here and, and, and look like I'm doing something down here, but I won't actually do anything. Because I'll, I'll, I'll probably end up breaking it. Rory, you're not helping. I'm, I'm being told off. I'm sorry. The race against the clock was well and truly on, with Taylor's dreams of lapping the ring slipping away with every passing minute. Do you think he's actually going to get his car ready in time? I think this is one of those heroic comeback episodes. And I think that that car will do a lap of the Nürburgring. If the track stays open and is open at like seven o'clock-ish, I think he might just get a lap in. Whether or not it's gonna make it back home under its own steam is a completely different story. We don't even know the car runs, actually. This engine could be completely useless. <laughs> we could do all of this and find out that the engine's locked off in the crash. God, if that happens, he's gonna be furious. Unfortunately, Rory and I couldn't stay any longer because we, and our working cars, had a mission to complete. Laps of the Nürburgring with our friend Misha. We need to go because we need to go and have lots and lots of fun. Oh, are you pissed off? So, good luck. Thank you. 
Thank you very kind. And uh, yeah, I'm really sad that we can't witness the first startup. But don't worry, Taylor. When mine breaks on the track, I'll bring it back in. You can get started on that. It's like you, you can never can sling your. <laughs> Join us next time for the finale of our Nurburgring road trip, where Rory and I finally get our cars on track and push them to their limits to find out which one's best. But will it stay a two-horse race, or will Taylor do the impossible and make it on track? Taylor, the ring closes in one hour. I don't care at this point. All will be revealed soon, but for now it's goodbye and see you next week. Please work.